Hi, this is Brian Dar with Valiantis, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the new Atlassian Cloud user interface, which is coming to all Atlassian Cloud instances in early 2025, although the exact release dates are yet unknown. In this video, we're going to talk about the general design, we're going to walk through the new navigation, and then we're going to come back and we're going to show uh, product-specific changes that, where the new UI affects these products. So we'll talk about JIRA and plans, JIRA service management, JIRA product discovery, Lassie and home, and Confluence. So let's talk about the design. It is new, it's modern, it's minimalist. You'll find new icons everywhere. You'll find everything is the same number of clicks. At least that's been the case in my tests so far. And basically what they've done is taken the top navigation bar and moved it to a left sidebar. Uh, personally, I'm very excited about this change. Uh, it reflects a lot of other products out there. It's more intuitive for new users, and I think it'll lead to uh, better adoption for new users. Uh, also, it is a much better implementation of what Atlassian tried to do with their user interface in 2018. So great job, Atlassian, on this new user interface. And with that, let's dive into and walk around. And with that, let's dive in and see what it looks like. So here it is. You may want to take a moment to pause the video and look around. And here we go. So you'll see that the left side nav bar is obviously the newest thing. But if we start up top, you'll find a collapse sidebar button. You'll find the app switcher, which is the same as it always was. The Jira home button is the same. The biggest change up top, besides moving, moving everything over, is that the search bar, which used to be over here, has been greatly expanded. Other than that, it is exactly the same as it always was. Same for the create button and everything over here. The only difference is a couple of um, new fonts and new icons. So if we dive in over here to the left, everything's broken out by feature, and it's designed to help people find information faster. So we have the Your Work page, which we are here on now, and then the recent flyout, which will show us all the recent items we've been to, including a search and a View Recent Items link. Starred is the same. We can search, we'll see, and then we can see all the areas that we've starred. We can also filter this one. So for example, show me all the dashboards that I've starred, and there's a link to view all starred items. Then we have all of our JIRA projects showing up here. And this is where we start to see some of the um, administrative options. So if I click here, I can manage projects or I can make a new project if I have permissions to. Or in a given project, I could um, add people, go to project settings, again, if I'm a project administrator. So just like the top nav bar before, uh, we see first the starred projects, then the recent projects. Then we see plans, that's pretty much the same. Uh, we see our um, starred plans and then a view all plans link. Filters, we'll see um, all of our starred filters and then our default filters. We can also search for, uh, search for issues right from here. And then a view all filters link. Dashboards, same, we can see our starred dashboards and then view all dashboards. And then for operations and assets, we're gonna come back and dive into those a little bit later, but they basically take all of the functionality that you're used to there and put them in these menus. Same for teams and same for apps. But then there's the best part of the new UI, which is if you don't use a lot of those things, if that's too much, you can now hide them. So if you never deal with apps, if you never deal with teams or assets or operations, you can bring all of those down here and hide them and then save. And then your particular personal view will be greatly cleaned up. And that's it for the brief overview. In the rest of the video, we're going to come back and we're going to dive into the product specific changes that may affect you. And here we go. So uh, before that, though, I'm going to reset the view. Just a moment. All right. So if we dive first into projects, that's what most people are probably used to. 
I made a couple of test projects here, Jira product discovery, a formerly Jira work management business project, a formerly Jira software software project, and a Jira service management project. So if we click into the business project, this is what everybody's used to in uh, Jira work management. We've got the single board, and then we have all of the different views up top, including timeline, calendar, list, attachments, all of that. And if you're a project administrator, you can move these around or hide them or set them as the default view when people land on your project. For a traditionally software project, you can have multiple boards and those boards that are associated with the project start to show up down here. And this is where we start to see the merging of Jira work management and Jira software. So that view of Jira service of, of Jira software, where everything used to be on the left, all of, all of the view choices, that is moved up to the top, just like a Jira, just like a Jira work management project. So that's the major change for Jira software if we, uh, and Jira work management. If we stick around and talk about the planning of those projects and dive into plans here, plans is pretty much the same. The only difference is that, again, everything that used to be on the left side has now been moved up uh, to the top bar here. So we have our timeline, everything's the same. We have the program view that you may not have seen yet. We've got a calendar view uh, and then, you know, teams, releases, and dependencies are pretty much all the same. So that's it for the JIRA portion. Let's talk about JIRA service management next. This one has a bit of a bigger change, but in line with all the other changes that you've seen. So all of your queues appear now directly under the project and you can dive in as deep as you need to go, uh, including to a queue search. And then the queues, once you open them, they all look the same. Oh, it would help if I had a request here. Uh, the views, you might be used to seeing them on the left side. We, we have a board view and a calendar view that are now available. This used to be known as the change calendar. And then if you're using the ITSM features of Jira Service Management, you'll find those ITSM related groupings here with all of their queues underneath, uh, showing up directly below the queues and views area. Reports, operations, that's pretty much the same. Knowledge base, directory channels, also the same. All right, so that's Jira Service Management. Let's talk about Jira Product Discovery. Uh, you'll be happy to know that that's also pretty much the same. All the views that you used to see on the left side are still on the left side, ready to go. And then once you dive in, everything pretty much looks the same over here as well. As we get down farther uh, into assets, this is also pretty much the same. You expand, you click into schemas or reports, just as you always did, and it'll bring up the schemas and then the views in there are also the same, maybe with a couple of um, slight UI tweaks. Operations has been improved. This is now a major feature area. So we can expand our alerts and dive into our alerts. And that again, looks the same as it always did. It's just accessible from, from the left nav menu, no matter where you are in the tool now. Same with on-call schedules and then all of the reports that you may be used to as well. And then Teams and Apps, same as it ever was. All right, uh, the other two products to talk about are Atlassian Home and Confluence. Atlassian Home, which is now in the App Switcher and up here, this is where they've taken the Atlas-related items such as goals and project updates, and they've moved them here into Atlassian Home. Uh, but everything's the same. So if you click on goals, you'll see the goals, the interface is exactly the same as it was before. And then projects is the same as well. Lastly, the piece that I would love to talk about but can't is Confluence. Uh, we don't have, a, the, we're not in the um, updated Confluence view yet on this particular site. But basically, from what I understand, it's gonna be the same changes that you just saw in Jira. So on the left side, we would see, let's say, Company Hub, and then Recent, and Spaces, and Teams, and Apps, 
and templates. And then if you expanded a space, you would see the content, the automation, the analytics, the calendars, and then all of the content beneath, to the best of my knowledge. But we'll find out. All right. That's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel, feel free to reach out. There's my email and LinkedIn. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your kind attention and have a great day.